Hello and welcome once more to Wetchaver's worldwide YouTube channel. My name is Dan, he's Peter, and we have a new razor to review. And for the today's hardware, we're gonna use Prorasso White for safety precautions. And yes, the bowl is almost empty. For the brush, Yoki 24mm synthetic knot. And next, alum stick for any nicks or cuts we may have along the way. For the splash, Prorasso Green. With that soft touch of mental we love so much. And to finishing of Prorasso Green Bomb. To hydrate and moisturizing the skin. The blade, Dorco SD Platinum, the last use. For the razor, a new replica of Edwin Jagger, R89, in a beautiful finishing grey metal gloss. As you can see, no overhang to worry about. It weight about 70 grams, a brass construction in three pieces. No logos or any trademark on the razor. It costs from $10 to $15, depending on the vendor. We bought it on Tamu. You know App Tamu, if you are on the budget. You get cheap stuff right to you. Let's assemble the blade on the razor. We don't have any time to waste here. This blade's edge is about to give his soul to his creator. So, we're gonna use it for the very last time. We don't want any damages in our face. Time to assemble the handle. The blade alignment has no issues on both sides. With all that said, let's prepare our stuff, make the lather rinse the face and do a face lather all that off camera and we will come back to perform our first pass first pass with the grain welcome back now we are finally ready for the first pass let's get going it seems to be easy to find the angle peter feels this razor has a medium aggression and is very efficient cutting those whiskers. That's very good for the price we paid for her. Actually, Peter was very surprised. Knowing there are very expensive safety razors out there on the market, this one has more quality than any cheap safety razor on sale at Walmart. Does a very good job shaving those contours of the face. Let's see how it performs on the neck. She's very comfortable on the neck. Peter feels so good. What a surprise this razor. Let's see on the Adam's apple. Now worries, so cheap and so good at the same time. What a bargain, don't buy this stuff guys. This gonna run out of stock anytime soon. Let's speed up a bit, see how it goes on fast paces. This can be your daily driver easily. It has the right amount of aggression for everyday use. You won't get tired of this razor, we can assure you.
Let's shave the goatee. See how it goes on the most stronger part of the face. Yeah, the whiskers go down right away. No effort at all. Who could imagine? At first glance, we thought it was just another bad tool made in China. Can't wait to see her shaving that mustache. See how she moves down below of the nose. As we thought, the head is good enough to shave below the nose. It maneuvers like a dream. We can believe what we are having here. I think this razor could go on a second championship here and in the channel of the Battle of the Razors. If you miss those episodes, you can find them on our library's channel. And yes, we are going to perform a championship of the Battle of the Blades we will announce anytime soon. Stay tuned. This was an excellent first pass. That is why we are going to make just another pass to reach out the BBS shave. Let's rinse, relava, and we come right back at you. Second pass against the grain. Welcome back. Let's go for the second pass. We want that glass finish that women's love so much. Let's start from the bottom to the top. At this time, the razor is giving a lot of feedback. The blade sings out loud removing the remaining whiskers, leaving a soft baby skin behind. As you may see, Peter has no irritation whatsoever. This razor can do. Any of the most expensive razors does, shaving with no issues. And what is curious about this razor? She's not adjustable in any sorts of imagination. So, no settings to make, or base plates to change. This is that razor for a quick and comfortable shave in the morning and yet going nice and presentable to the office showing proudly the BBS smooth glass finish. Oh boy, that blade edge has gone. The blade pulled the chin making a small cut. No razor's fault or lack of technique. Time to clean that blood and apply some alum that will sort things out and close it cut for good. Yeah Peter, put some alum on. That is nothing major. That's great, that blood has stopped. Let's finish this shave, shall we? Now against the grain on the mustache. Every part of the face must be baby, but smooth.
even against the grain. No issues below the nose. We can shave any corner or spot on the fly. What a bless this razor is, ladies and gentlemen. Have we told you that? This particular razor could be your Christmas gift this year, and it will not break your bank account. And also you can add it to your razor's collection. Think about it, it is our Christmas gift already. No touch-ups to do. Great. Can we go to the post shave? Yeah we can, let's rinse, clean the hardware. And we come back in no time, bear with us. My final thoughts. Welcome back, as we put the aftershaves. We are gonna tell our thoughts about this razor we reviewed today. Well, this razor was very cheap on Timu app. We had no idea to expect about her, was sended with free shipping, and cost about 10 to $15, with good weight, has medium aggression, and can be used as a daily driver. Easy to clean, and with medium quality. You can't complain at all. Also came in a card box with foam inside. They offered a pack of five blades, and a head protector to use on the razor if you are going to travel. What you can ask more for 10 or 15 dollars. I guess we can't ask for anything more really. Now, we can ask for a drop of Parasso Green Bomb and we are ready to go on the road really. Oh yeah, this doesn't make us younger, but makes us feeling like worth a million dollars. You can bet on that. So soft, so good, no irritation. And that nickel cut we had has already closed and gone. Isn't that amazing? This is the beauty of the world of wet shaving. Now, with this wonderful shave performed, let's take a look one more time at this razor. And here she is. An Edwin Jagger R89 replica in a gunmetal gloss finish and with a cost of $10 to $15. Hope you enjoyed this episode and don't forget to like, subscribe and share our videos. That means a lot to us. I am Dan and he's Peter. See you in the next episode. Take care.